Today we're going to be taking a look on how to use a campfire. The campfire's main use is for cooking and a few chemistry items. It also provides warmth, but will also set you on fire, so I suggest putting it up one block to prevent any accidents. Just like I've put right here. To make a campfire, all you need is eight small stones, and you can craft it with just your hands. It's listed under the basic menu, as well as the food tab. So just click craft, and then set it into your toolbar, and then right click on where you want it to be. Before we get into the advanced stuff, let's just go through the process of getting clean water and turning raw meat into something edible. Let's use some empty cans and fill them up. Go to the water, right click on it with your can equipped, and then it'll fill all your cans at once. The animation looks like you're drinking it, but you're actually not. So be careful to only click once so that way you fill them and not fill them, then drink one. Then let's head back to our campfire. We'll add some fuel, turn it on, and then on the left hand side it'll show us which recipes we can make. So since we have some murky water, select boiled water, then the arrows for all. And then click cook. After a little bit of wait, you can find them in the output boxes. The same process can be done with empty glass bottles, but requires a cook pot to do so. More on the cook pot later. Okay, so we've boiled some water, but now what do we do with this raw meat from a deer I killed earlier? With your smelly raw meat in your inventory and a campfire that's on, all you need to do is select charred meat recipe, and then raw meat will turn into something edible. It also gives you some wellness, which is used to raise your max health and stamina. Charred meat may not be the best eating item in the game, but it's good for those first couple days. Now, let's move on to tools. There are three permanent tools that can be added to a campfire. The cooking pot, the cooking grill, and the beaker. The cook pot is easily the most important. It unlocks the most recipes, and you can survive for a long time with just the cook pot. I would definitely make that a day one or day two priority. Always, always look for those. So, to add the tools, simply take them from your inventory and drag them to the top right of the screen in the section marked Tools. And you know you did it correctly when you see a little one in the picture. You can also shift-click to add instantly. Once it's there, you don't have to do anything else special to use it. Just have the supplies you need and the recipes will be unlocked. Now, let's go over the specifics of fuel. We gotta burn something in order to craft. I have here some of the most common items to use as fuel. Here's some plant fibers, some gas, some wood, coal, biofuel, and even an old chair. Almost everything has a burn time per unit. The old chair will take 32 real seconds to burn, whereas a plant fiber will only last one second per unit. I like to use wood since it has a good ratio of burn time per unit and is a very plentiful resource. I don't like to use coal because it's used to make gunpowder later on, and I like to save that. And right here is how long the fire will burn until it'll automatically turn off. The timer right there is actually in real time, not game time. The campfire is a good introduction on how to craft stuff outside of your hand. If it won't let you cook something, it's usually because the fire isn't on or you don't have one of the tools. And typically, if you're trying to boil water, you don't have a cook pot, or you're trying to make some uh, antibiotics and you don't have a beaker. And just remember that the recipes are looking for the resource in your inventory. You don't need to drag or place them anywhere. And that's all there is to it for a campfire. Thanks for watching.